Ladies and gentlemen, back here at ACWF, and ladies and gentlemen, here comes Nightmare Stalker. As you saw before, he got attacked backstage by Rock and Roll Jones, so you can only imagine he's going to come out here and want to fight Rock and Roll Jones. I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, I love the sound of Nightmare Stalker's theme song. It's pretty dark, it's pretty haunting, as is the character himself. The reason I say character is we don't really know what he is. If he's a clown, if he's a demon, if he's just some guy in a mask. I have no idea. He's part of Panic. That's what we know. And that questions his uh, species. Ladies and gentlemen, he's holding those ribs and uh, limping pretty bad. Praying to the Overlord. Maybe the Overlord will send him some power. And it looks like he did. Just like that, the limp has gone drastically down. The, the stomach, the chest is still feeling a bit banged up though. I mean, taking shots to the uh, midsection with, the, with a pipe like that, it's not gonna feel good, ever. As I was walking to the ACWF arena, Rocky Will Jones came out of nowhere and hit me with a pipe and I injured my ribs. But that is the worst mistake he has ever done in his life. So, today, right now, I am willing to challenge Rocky Will Jones to the back. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes me man a man. Don't be a coward like every EGW wrestler there is. Ladies and gentlemen, Nightmare Stalker calling out rock and roll as we expected him to. Is he going to accept? I want to rock! He is going to accept, ladies and gentlemen. Rock and roll Jones accepting the match. Now, I got to ask you fans. What does this say about Rock and Roll Jones? He's accepting a match by an injured person. <laughs> Kinda shows no balls, if you ask me. This is the first time we've seen Rock and Roll Jones in quite a bit. Maybe the attack is to make a statement. Seems like EGW wrestlers are all about making statements the cheap way. He's jumping in, pushing Nightmare Stalker. All right, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna prove himself against the guy he beat with a pipe. I don't know how uh, much proving that's gonna do. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our referee is... Referee number uno. That guy, Juan Juanson. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Mullen Cockery here. Mullen, how you yeah, been? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little worn out. Yeah, it's... Punk, punk Chunk After Effects, not great. <laughs> Random I, boy. I would not know. I think that is uh, why both yeah, Rock so and Roll good, and okay, Paul Punker just don't stop yes. drinking it. He that ready. very well could be hey, the thing. Yo, man. You ready? Now, yeah, Mullen, I gotta I ask you. To rock. All right, the bell just rang and here we go. Rock and Roll Jones, Jones Nightmare Stalker. All right, Malin, let me ask you, how do you feel about Rock and Roll accepting a match after he already jumped this guy? I, I, it's smart, in my opinion. He, uh, if you saw Nightmare Stalker walking out, he was limping, he was uh, he's holding his arm. But, but you also saw when Nightmare Stalker get, went down to pray to the Overlord, he got a little bit of that stamina back, the limp got better, but that chest, that chest is still feeling it. He wants to rock. See, that's what I'm saying. He's definitely injured in some capacity. Um, and ah. Rock and Roll made a, I, I think, the smart choice to come out here and accept this challenge. But then again, with how much punk junk is flowing through his veins, who says it was a okay, mental thought? 
in his <laughs> brain. Well, I gotta say, now that you mentioned Punk Junk and Rock and Roll Jones, usually Rock and Roll Jones is a lot more manic when he comes out here. Do you think he's starting to get used to it? I, and I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, as one who's experienced the Punk Junk, um, the first one is always the worst. The second one starts to level out, and you just have a lot of energy. What the hell was that? Your your head gets a little bit clearer. See? He's in the middle of the match. His blood's pumping. Punk Junk's doing its work. Is it really, though? Because... Okay. It's not always the best thing, but I promise you his physical capabilities are... It's, it's almost like a drinking steroid at this point. Nightmare Stalker kicking out at two right there. Do you remember Rock and Roll Jones before Punk Junk? Uh, yeah. He was, uh, very monotone. Yeah. Uh... He, he was having yeah. fun, but... Nice Claymore. His wrestling ability definitely improved yeah. once him and Paul Punker uh, really started to drink that. That's, that's very true. Uh, perfect uh, example of that is Paul Punker being true gladiator champion. Exactly my point. I never shut up. But, uh... Ah. What? Do you think it's because Paul Punker... Paul Punker's the inventor of Punk Punk. Do you think because of that... He's had better effects because oh. he's more used. Tag, man. To... Yeah, yeah. See, I think I think it's so ah. ingrained in Paul Bunker's body ah. that, like, ah. sure, he's a little, little, little kooky, ah. but I think ah. that's part of him now. It very much looks like it, and it looks like ah. it's starting to become part of Rock and Roll Jones as he's just taking it to half of the tag team champions right now. Given Nightmare Stalker's a little bit injured from that attack, but still. Ah, ah, also, no. Rock and Roll did not participate ah. in Immortality, I believe. It's true. He's a lot more fresher than Nightmare Stalker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nightmare, mm -hmm. Nightmare Stalker had a pretty heated uh, oh, no. tag team title oh. match oh, wait, wait, against the ah. likes of Les Luger and Flash Blood. That was a fantastic match at Immortality. Was. It was a good show off of uh, Flash Blood's potential and it, uh, I, I believe a new tag team. Yes, new tag team Flash Flood and Les Luger had a match earlier today. That's true. And they got a win. They got a win to make up for their loss at Immortality. I, I think I commentated that match, and I believe I, I discussed the oh, fact no. that Boss. they were just a fresh tag oh. team. Give them time, and they may be new tag team champions. It is very possible. It is very possible, especially with the showing that they had today and the showing that they had at Immortality. They almost won the tag team title. Uh, very close, very oh, close match. Really and now it looks like Nightmare Stalker is coming back, which is no surprise being half of the tag team champions, and being powered by this unknown power of the Overlord. The only people who know this power is that man in the ring and his tag team partner, Cold Fear. That's true, that's true. There's a pin after a nice looking one knee code breaker type looking maneuver face. I don't know what to call it, but he it was put it in the crevice of his neck, I believe. It was very impressive, though. Definitely wouldn't have been comfortable. <laughs> nice little senton. See, he didn't get a lot of height in that senton, maybe to lessen the impact on himself. <laughs> Rocket Roll must have. He must have known this. Even with the attack, this was not going to be an easy match for him. Because Nightmare Stalker is just handing it to him right now. Oh, wait a minute. See, like I said, I don't remember Rock and Roll ever doing any slam moves like that. It, I mean, it, he did them like once every blue moon, but... Nightmare Stalker taking his, taking a step out. That, that might be a wise decision, taking a step out. But wait a minute! Oh. Flying oh. forearm oh. shot! Straight yeah. to the face. Alright, you gotta get back in the ring too, man. Yeah! yeah you can't stay out here. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! I wanna rock. Uh, Uno! Referee just now starting the count. Dos. Dos. Throwing Nightmare Stalker Tres. gut first into the little yeah. poles right there. Wait, Holding his legs up. Ah. Come on, man. you gotta read That's this. Like, He's on the roof. Mind you, we do have a 20 count here at HWF. That is true, but that is also technically that would also be a rope break too. True. true. That's, why, that's why the ref broke it up. That's why that I feel like that's exactly why the ref broke broke it up. Juan Watson, being a uh, fairly good ref this go around, 
Usually he's distracted, but uh, this time he's uh, he's he's pretty on point. Self-proclaimed referee number one, numero uno. That's very true. Kicking off Nightmare Stalker. Nightmare Stalker getting back up. Did, see, he's so much more aware than he was before. He was pretty much a buffoon before Punk Junk. He just barely dodged that drop kick, yeah. but he did dodge it. He he looked it square in the yeah. eye and moved Punk just enough, I believe. Punk Jump says... Punk Jumps... Punk Jump says punch, I guess. What is Punk Punk say, look at him, look at him. Rock and Roll Jones looking the best he's had in a while. He could pull up a win on half the tag team champions. Precision striking. I have not. I'm telling you, and I I doubt those two buffoons have practiced or you know trained in the back. I believe wholeheartedly the only thing they've done that is different is punk junk. But wait a minute, Nightmare Stalker just hit that nice arm drag. He was not able to capitalize on it though. Wait a minute. What is this? Ace cutter type maneuver. It kind of looks like a stunner too. Yeah. I can't tell which one it was. I looked more like a stunner. I, I would say stunner. Into a pin one, two. Rock and roll kicks out. He still wants to rock. Nightmare Stalker needs to capitalize on that move. He has rock and roll down. Looks like he's gonna try. You gotta wear out that punk jug. It's like it's like. Oh my god! Quick spine buster by Rock and Roll Jones. But it's like a battery. You, you gotta deplete its energy so that it's back to normal rock and roll. That is very true. And so far that battery has a long life. It, it does. Punch straight to the head. No one's worn out uh, Paul Punkers in a while. That's very true. I do want that True Gladiator Championship back here at ACWF though. Get it out of the hands of EGW, just saying. EGW, numero uno. EGW is not numero uno, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, got him in a front face lock. <laughs> suplex time? Standing Ooh, suplex time. Just for a little bit, but like I said, improvement. Definitely improvement. Improvement in strength, stamina, mental facilities. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is Nightmare Stalker? He has to find out a way to come back. Chop! Chop! Punch! What is this? Sidewalk slam with authority. Rock and Roll Jones looking to end this match. Big senton. There's a pin. One, two, and... Was that three ref? That was three. That was three, ladies and gentlemen. Rock and Roll Jones winning this matchup. And it looks like he's going to beat him up some more. Maybe just make it a statement. Maybe I assumed a little bit too much with those mental facilities. Yeah, may may maybe. Rock and Roll Jones you is... Uh... You did it. You did it! Yeah! Yeah, you, you're a winner! Rock and Roll Jones! He was, he was aware of the fight, but not of the fin. That's... Good, man, yeah. That is classic Rock and Roll Jones, to be honest. I wanna rock! I wanna rock! Rock and Roll Jones getting his first fin win in a while. I almost said fin. Maybe because I accidentally said fin. Maybe. But ladies and gentlemen, this could set up something for Rock and Roll Jones in the future. Let's find out in the future episodes.